Hi, George Trombley here with Blackbird Realty in Las Vegas, another pretty face in real estate. Today I'd like to talk to you about five tips for landlords. First tip, ensure your property is safe and free of any health hazards. Walk through the home yourself. Make sure the windows lock, the deadbolt engages the door frame. The carpet doesn't have any trip hazards. There's no linoleum uh, sticking up, no water leaks, nothing like that. It's always, always a money savings if you're proactive instead of needing to be reactive. Tip number two, make sure that all your gas connections and electrical connections are safe. Look at each outlet and see if there's any burn marks by the outlet. Burn mark means there's a problem with that outlet and you might want to have an electrician check it. If you smell gas, there's probably gas there. So uh, get a plumber to come out and check all the gas connections if you have a gas leak or call the gas company and they'll help you with it too. Tip number three, have a written lease and do a walkthrough of the property. And inside your written lease, have everything in there that the tenant needs to know. When's the rent due? When's it late? What happens when it's late? Doing the walkthrough, have pictures of how the house looked when the tenant moved in so that when a tenant moves out, it'll be easy for you to compare with what it used to look like to what it looks like now. And it'll help you when you're trying to settle the security deposit with them. Follow the written lease on all of the matters. Number four, don't let the tenant use the security deposit as the last month's rent. Because when he moves out, you've got nothing to give back to him and he's got nothing to lose with the damage in your property if you've got no, uh, if you've let him use the rent uh, let them use a security deposit as the last month's rent. Don't do that. Can't stress that enough. And number five, have the correct insurance for your house. Call your insurance agent. Tell them that it's no longer the home you're living in. Let them know that it's now a rental. It'll have different coverage. You want to have at least $500,000 worth of general liability coverage. The more coverage, the better. Liability insurance is cheap to buy. Uh, if there's a problem at your house. And find out from your insurance agent if the legal defense costs should a loose legal suit be filed if they're covered from within the policy. That's important to know. Uh, so what you need at your property is a dwelling policy and not a homeowner's policy. That's all I've got for today. Please tune in each week and see what we're talking about then. Have a nice day. See you next time.